What are we doing? We riding? We going? Me. I know the way. Oh, we're going to Shady Bell? That's where we... Is that where we did Black Bell? Shady Bell? No. What the hell have we done a Shady Bell? Oh, wait. That's where the gun runners were. Got it. That's what me and Lenny got into. For some reason, I thought that place was... Uh, it looked very much... It's gonna be all right, John. Like... Be going for ah, shit. We will. We have to move everyone first. It looks very much like the Braithwaite Manor. Manor. Sorry. With an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail. Or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew it right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his game. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. The master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right mm. now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. Rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. Anyway, what was you talking about? Your eyes. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. Where are you going, horsey? Ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. Jesus. The horse was ready to run around. Is it haunted or something? All right. So I guess we're switching camp. Things got a little bit too heated there. I ain't sure nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. All right. Uh, the last episode was a doozy, by the way. Well, I call it episode. The last stream, really. Because holy shit, there was a lot going on at the end of that one. Is this a launch semi shotgun? Yeah, sure. Let's do a semi shotgun. In case there are. Ow. Of course there is. Damn it. Still some here. <laughs> Let's just bust in. The Moines stragglers. What? Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? All right, nobody here. So these guys were gun runners, and me and was here clearing this place out before, but apparently. Uh, me and Lenny was here, but apparently we didn't clear out all of them. I swear I went through this place. Wait, wait, can I can I break that? Let's break the lock. Give me a chance to have a zip on my drink. Bumper key or whatever they're those are called. Chimney key? I don't know. There, there's a word for them. I'm, I'm not into uh, lock picking, so I don't know what they're called. But I have watched some uh, lock picking lawyer videos. They're pretty entertaining. Can recommend them if you're uh, into the idea of uh, 
Lock picking. Why can't I pick up those items? Those are clearly items. Alright, fuck it. If the game doesn't want me to pick them up, I won't pick them up. Search cabinet. That we can do, though. Search drawer. Nothing. Okay, this place is a mess, so I'm just gonna leave it. Wait, did I? Did I? I didn't loot you, did I? There's apparently nothing to loot on that guy. Pull out my weapon. No, not that weapon. We're gonna... We only have one shot in the shot, but... Oh! Oh, crap. To crap my ass. Though I was. Oh, you sat down. That's handy. Can't carry any more of that item. All right. Can I kick the door down? I knew you'd come soon enough. You are some of the coward like you. The bounty hunters. The freedmen. The carpet beggars. The army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. I'm gonna stand in the sun so he can't shoot straight at me. Our fight will live well, he can, but he... Alright, well, you've killed yourself. How's it looking up there? Well, I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. <laughs> Good. Come help me with this, will you? They have a very cold way of dealing with people, these guys. Hey. It's a gold nugget, isn't it? 25 bucks right there. There's a fireplace? No? Okay. You should leave there's money up in the fireplace. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Break lock? Hold up. You guys saw that, right? It said break lock pretty damn clearly. Well, looking for shit. There was a lock to break, dude. Here, give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Pick up the dead body. First, let me loot him. Can you grab that one there? Follow me. Do we have a pig sty or something to throw in? I heard pigs do good work with dead bodies. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Sure. Are there gonna be gators? Well, that was unnecessary. Okay, I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan. Got in the mist. Wait, am I gonna go? Oh shit! This is... See, this could be a cutscene. They could just cut it here and be like, "All right, uh, Arthur's dealing with it." Why do I have to actually physically run and do all this? Is it a cutscene now? Please be a cutscene. Good. Okay, that's why I didn't want to let me effectivize the thing. It had a plan all along. I should have trusted the game. Welcome home, all you, to uh, my humble abode. We got fine living. You know the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. I think you should listen to her, by the way. She she has something on her. She, she has something to that say. Girl, all I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what was I talking about? <laughs> Before I hit the tree, you mean? She wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? 
to take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. Oh, we're coming into San Denis. The, map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? Few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places. Maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For yeah, a Sean time, was up. I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. Sean was a loss. I have to admit now? that. Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. Oh. Okay, there she is. The real city. The future. That looks grim as shit, though. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Huh. So this is the first, like, bigger city that we got to in the game, and probably the only one. I think Blackwater might be a big city as well, but we haven't been to Blackwater, at least not in-game. Chapter 4, St. Denis, I should update that. Hold on, let me update my uh, stream. Stream thing. Update information. Chapter 4. There we go. Perf. Wait, what? There was a... There, I, oh, the like that thing? Kill all the Lamona Raids and Shady Bell. Clear two bodies from Shady Bell within 1 minute and 40 seconds. Complete within 11 minutes. What? That really took me more than 11 minutes? The mission? Okay. Jump the horse. No, I'm not going to do that. Let's see what we can do here. Wait, those are missions? BR, BR, BR. What is, who is BR? Angelo Bronte. The Joyce of Civilization. Why is that BR? Just needs to ask you around in public place for more information on Angelo Bronte. Alright, well, I guess we'll start hitting those marks. Ugh. Wow. Like, this is the first time I feel like Arthur's out of place. I'm looking for Gavin. He's my best friend. Gavin? I lost it. I mean, I lost it. Okay, there. Someone must have seen an Englishman. Really funny, he is. <laughs> that guy, I've talked to that guy before. Gavin? You still haven't found him? Nope, but I won't give up. He's lost. One morning, I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. Maybe he just left. Gavin? No. No. We were best mates. He'd really? Best mates? He'd never leave me. Never. I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Where are you?
All right. There's going to be something in this. For sure. So far, we're not getting anywhere with the quest. Uh, also, I, I get the feeling that they're not exactly just friends. But that's just me. Right, here we have a mark coming up. But yeah, like, Arthur feels so out of place here. Because this looks like actual civilization. And Arthur's like a gunslinging cowboy wild west kind of open field. That kind of thing. This looks too gentrified for him, by far. What's going on over here? I've been covered in words, Strand. Just had to be me. All right. Well, I'm, there's too much going on here. Big cities suck. <laughs> I guess we're going into the saloon or something? Oh. Stick him up, cowboy. Now, what is the. Oh, Dutch, come on. You're funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? Always a keep I'm it cool. Back here and on. I don't really fit in here, do I? for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's, that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'm a transplant, but I'm never leaving. Not unless we all get washed away. All right. <laughs> uh, hello? Every year they say that's going to happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> I'll get you in a Excuse second. Excuse me. Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have them. I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I I seem to have some very impatient customers. Yeah, you do. How can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Why, thank you. Okay, I'm very generous with my money. Can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte. <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you're in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Well, that didn't really help us much. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big. Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. He makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know how to get. Oh, hey, friend. You, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Great. A racist piece of shit is like the best lead we got. Perfect. What the fuck do you mean immigrants, by the way? Everybody here currently is an immigrant, except the Native Indians and Native Americans, and they're, they got fucked pretty hard, I'd say. So yeah, immigrants aren't to be trusted. Fair call, <laughs> actually, now that I think about it. Oh lord, there's a lot of like sneaky- It's really become quite the craze. So you just walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Yes, and then after 24 men find any married person, male or female, wearing a wedding ring, turn that ring twice, and then the next man you shake hands with will become your husband. 
What nonsense. Yeah. Don't take my word for it then. You lost, mister? Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh, yeah. Just through that archway there. Thank you. But lady, you into some superstitious shit. Hey. Rude boys. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen, five breath. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? I don't trust these kids. They're gonna fucking close. rob me. You get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? I'm on your ass, Not kid. Much. Oh, that no sounded wrong. Knows as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You a nice Toulouse, church. Mister? No. We're Catholics <laughs> here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine. Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. Can't whistle for the horse. Unfortunately, I want him to get hit by a train. Come on, let me get on the train. I, I could have shot him, I guess. Ah, I fucking called it though. And like when they started talking about how religious they were and God's love, I was like, yeah, these guys are fucking me over. Got him on the map, though. Oh. Keep going. Oh, you little shit. I'm going to beat the snot out of you. I am going to beat the snot. Oh, come on. Oh, not now. I'm telling you, cucumbers definitely approve. Since when? Since forever. I read in the newspaper. There we go. That little bastard. Oh, come on, Arthur. Jesus. He's still on my bag. He still has it, though. Hmm. What's the problem, friend? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. The kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. I am so willing to kill these kids. Now. Come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. 
You don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. Keeping mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. I am willing to turn around and put bullets in all these fucking kids. You want to play a big game? Let's see what happens. Really? He won't let me? Oh, son of a bitch. I was willing to fucking start a massacre. Hmm. Run with the big kids, get the big losses, or win stupid prizes. I don't know what you want to say. I don't have a good saying for this. Those kids are idiots. Sometimes it pays to make examples out of kids like that so others don't follow down the same path. Fucking hell, where's my holes? Host. Where are we? And where are we going? Host is actually right where, sh where I should be. Well, up the street to the right and then the left. Ah, oh, damn it! I hate getting like robbed or swindled. It has happened a couple of times during my travels, and I ain't even worried about the small amounts of cash I've lost on these things. But the disrespect, the fucking disrespect of people to do shit like that. Oh, it just it burns me. Okay, maybe we should put our guns away. Before somebody gets upset. I mean, I probably have a right to bear arms and all like that, but maybe not bear arms. Gotcha, had a bit of run around. That was rude, horse. Getting robbed, who by? Bunch of children. I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently he lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. For a second there, Arthur looked exactly like Tim Minchin. If you're not familiar with Tim Minchin, oh, you got some big good shows coming your way. Brilliant comedian. Australian. Very musical. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know. And far from real open country. Well, you can say that again. What the hell kind of bug has bitten me in the middle of fucking this... January. Hmm. Let's just hope I don't get a coronavirus out of it. Since that's a big scare at the moment. Oh, there's another uh, health cell dude guy. Well, that's handy. What is this store, by the way? Because I'm pretty sure that I've seen... Like, when you run the... Get out. Uh, when you run the, oh, what's it called? Like when you, benchmark tests, that's what it's called. When you run benchmark tests, I think this is the store you're coming out of. Yep, it is. What do you have? What do you sell? Crap? What, what can, is, are you a gun store? Elk and drink it. Oh, it's this kind of stuff. And we're off. And this is not the path they took in the benchmark. Damn it! I wanted to run. <laughs> I wanted to run the benchmark test path. This is pretty much it. And then there was a post right here. Yeah. What are you? You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? 
I so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a you're humble a brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? Well, you became a monk, so that's one of us. You have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. <sighs> I feel like he's scamming me, but fine. We got money. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Hmm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but uh, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us, but slavery, I... I thought we had banished that. But Saint-Denis is acting as a staging post. They're shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Huh. We got pulled into side mission here, but that's all right, because this sounds actually semi-interesting. Well, Thanks, all of the side quests here are well written, but uh, this one especially. Captive's whereabouts? A few feet around. Shall do. Search drawer. Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? Perhaps. You were a lot less talkative before when I talked that to you. Well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna leave all your shit open. Well, you just let me know if I can help Well that's highly suspicious. You can see the marks there on the floor. Question. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? What's up with that hat of yours? You look nervous. You're not giving me... You're not letting me see your face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, let's go look at the obvious clue, right? I feel like I should aim weapon at him, but I'm it's probably gonna fail my fail me on this quest or something. So I'm gonna something don't seem right. Oh, we're gonna get hit in the back of the head. Stop doing that. Don't turn your back on this guy. Looks like this pulls out or something. Pulls out? No, it's just an old bookcase. Seen better days. I must say you're acting very strange. How about you open that door? Door? What door? The hidden door. Or I'll open the hidden door in your chest. They may Head, do it. but you know. I, I was always good to them, but they, they forced me to do it, sir. I, I swear. Open the door. Now. Oh, okay, okay. Just put the big red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. You just stay right there, buddy. He's bolting. Yeah, he's running. Son of a bitch. Should have killed him. Oh, hello? Shh, cállate, cállate. Mm hmm. Investigate the basement. Hello? I'm not going down unarmed, though. Help, please. Be the captives, of course. Help, please. Now 
don't worry. I'm on your side. Just don't run out the door first thing you do, because that fucker went to get help. You might get gunned down as soon as you exit the house. Can I free? Yeah, I can. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Anybody else down here? Turn to the monk. Well, we're I'm still pulling out my guns. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise you. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. Go to the back door. Wait, what was that? Can I open this now? No. How about robbing the cash registry? Because this, uh... Yeah, I don't give a shit. You can call this dishonorable all you want. This is, good. This is slave money. Like, we're, we're going. Alright, we can't go out that way. Sure. Maybe we should put our guns away now. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Yeah, trust me for now. I'm uh, I'm a little bit worried that we're gonna get slammed with something real soon. But we made it to the monk as well. At least. At least. Dorkin's friend, Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's. Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. No, give it to the poor. Give it to the poor. We ain't touching that. We got payment from the cash registry. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Neat. Help a brother out. All right, but what did we do wrong? Did we, did, could we not rob him? Without threatening the store owner, completely. How would I not threaten that asshole? Threatening him was a bonus. I'll take the bronze for that. 